Hello friends, welcome back to Block Project in Laravel 10. Last video we were discussed like a add, edit, delete and uh, after we did like a verification. So do you want to add your users and you need to make a verification. This email has not duplicate and edit time we also make like a is a not duplication. In this video we can continue like a block project inside like an active class. Right now I'm going to user list so it's not showing the active, it's always showing the dashboard. So I can go to, I'm going to add user. So always need to show like a, this is the active. Suppose I'm going to category. So it's in a category one to show active. I know we have not did category, but I just give you the example. So in this video, I will short out these things. And I have one request. You are new in this channel, otherwise in this series. So please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever project we are uploading, so you always get the notification and you always learn something new every day. I know sometimes it's a duplication, like a, every time you, you know about the, okay, this is the already there, already there, you know about that but you always learn something new i am 100 percent sure so please subscribe and please press the bell icon okay because we are working as a project wise i hope you already done for these things okay so let's start now so first of all you need to open okay so do you think how we can make it like a active class so here is a two reason there we need to use like a url wise and here is a you can pass inside a data wise like you can pass inside controller controller inside you can pass like a what is the page active you can do it like this and also you can do it url wise so i will explain like a date like a url wise means here wise like a url url inside we can get the segment and segment wise we can make it here active class suppose sometime you can see it like other project is a working like a data suppose you are passing inside controller like app http controller inside suppose i go to dashboard controller so here is a passing like a page active like this i can explain to it two different way so you can learn something today new okay suppose i can do like this let's op explain first we have did this task like a url wise otherwise people not watching full video so he can understand before he did like this and after why he's not did like this because we are always work url wise after i explain like a second way okay so let's sort out first our main way what i need to do so but some people like like a second way so he can use it this reasons okay so here our menu there like a sidebar so you can see it our menu there not header inside so you can see it here is a qualified so this is the class you can add so the meaning about no need to active class suppose you can remove this class here qualified and you can go back again and you can refresh here so you can see it also showing the active class so it's very simple suppose whatever there like whatever class there like here url we need, we don't want to call this class okay so right now i add inside dashboards okay so now no any active class just go back again and refresh the page so you can see it, no any active class so we need to learn a new thing about the how to work segment so just you can search like segment in laravel search you can search so you can see it here go to any other links whatever do you want to like you can see it request segment so this is the segment i can explain how to work first segment okay so just go to inside and i can put here inside dashboard here i can put like a requests dot dot segment one i just go back again refresh the page so our first segment is a like what's the i will not save this file this reasons now i will save these files and i just go back again refresh the page so our first segment showing the panel so means about the panel suppose i go to dashboard so always showing the panel you can see it here but we need to use second segment so just you can change here like a two like first and two just you can save just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here like a dashboard second segment is the dashboard same thing i can go to users so you can see it like a user segment suppose i click on the add new so you can see it like a second one is a users you see so this is the reason we have did like all the ur like a step by step so what i need to do users so panel users list okay so i need to add new so panel users inside add because I need to make an active class. This reason I am doing like this classes. So let's go to dashboard again and we need to work like a condition wise. So here's a very simple condition and just remove this one. If like this is equal to is equal to like a dashboard. Suppose it's a dashboard there, not is equal to dashboard. So like this, you can do it like a Collapse because the dashboard there not there so we need to add this class okay so you can see it so let's go back again and we can check so i just go to so he's showing the active class 
because right now is showing the not is equal to dash suppose i go to users list so it's not showing because i'm going dashboard so here saying the is equal to the dashboard yes right now it's dashboard but not is equal to dashboard so we need to go inside so right now we are getting two means the dashboards uh, one minute is equal to is equal to dashboards so we can go inside so you can see it here so right now is a not working active class suppose we can make not is equal to means the dashboard not there so we can go inside let's make a not equal to not equal to one minutes so it's going to inside and he can check it collapsed so let's refresh so you can see it is showing the active class not going to inside suppose i go to user list okay same thing you can do it just copy and paste here and you can put here and here you can type like a user just you can change not is equal to users suppose segment 2 is a not is equal to users so it's going to inside otherwise no need to go inside okay so it's very simple just go to users so you can see it now it's not going to inside this is in class not calling and you can see it like a users not is equal to inside so right now users so users there so we don't want to go inside simple suppose i go to dashboard so we need to go inside you can see it dashboard is there so here is a dashboard segment 2 is equal to dashboard and this dashboard so we don't want to go inside suppose is equal to is equal to dashboard i can type so we need to go inside and we can print this class okay this is the way now i go to blocks category i click on the add new so you can see always showing the active because here there segment 2 is equal to users suppose i going to edit time so also you can see it like a active one okay this is the first way now i will explain second way let's copy paste inside a category also so just you can change like a category okay and also is a blog help every place we can add but once we can develop after we can add just i put inside category right now okay okay now we need to do second way okay second way is a very easy you just need to understand how it's work so this is the way we need to work inside control panel let's i copy these files okay and i put inside new one because of once i will done like a second way after i will make a i don't want to make control z just i copy this file and i put here okay right now i'm making all the control charts because i already made here backup like you can see it here now i'm explain second way okay inside a control wise i refresh now you can see it always active suppose i go to user slit so showing always active so is a different way is a not easy way it is a very easy way also is not hard so just you can type here data active class okay i create a one variable inside i pass a, like a dashboard okay so this is the active class we need to go inside sidebar and i just here use same thing if dollar active class not is equal to okay sorry i made a wrong place i just cut and i can okay is right way i i just forget okay not is equal to dashboard so here we need to put like a collapsed and here i can put like a and if so let's go back again and we can check here so you can see it. let's see no any errors because of the first time i'm doing not first time okay i have not save this file yes okay i have not passed data this reasons so it's showing the undefined variable i did lots of time but is you can see it undefined variable because i have not passed here data this reasons you can see it okay just go back again oh i have not save this files i have not save this file active class data and i just go to sidebars active class okay let me check which url i am checking like user list but i need to check is a dashboard because we are not work inside a user list so you can see working suppose i am going to user list so user list inside you can see it one error active class because of we have not pass for this value inside user side so just copy and need to go to user list and you can put here okay and data already passing so we don't want to do and here you can change like dashboard to users so just i refresh the page so you can you can't see it active class because of we have not pass inside a user list so just copy and put here okay and here you can change like a dashboard to users i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here is a active class suppose i go to add new okay so here showing the undefined active class variable 
so also we need to pass inside the user list means add new user so same thing you can copy and inside you need to pass add user and you need to pass inside a data like this so you can refresh so automatic work you can see it but you can pass like a different words here like this okay now just go back again it's so it's not showing the active class so whatever do you want to pass here this is the active class work this is the like a manual and other one is i've explained is a like a url wise so this is the two way possible after you can do is the edit time so just go to edit time you can do it so here you also need to pass inside edit users so edit user time work otherwise edit user time also generate the errors so we go to edits so you can see it here but this is the difficult way so what do you want to put at the pass about active class so generate the error whatever do you want to like you can do it so what do you want to go use the user wise so also possible so what do you want to go like inside a controller wise also possible just you can do it like this but i am always suggest you can go to url wise so it's good for you no need to generate any time errors and i like it okay so i just my control jets i don't want to do and i just my copy codes and i can paste inside my sidebar okay because i already made a backup this results i just go back again now and i refresh the page so no any generate the errors and active class also working okay i hope you have a clear everything about the two way like one is a variable wise and one is a segment wise and you can't understand anything please comment out and i will give you the answer so you can understand like more clearly so you can't understand about that video but 100% you can clear because i have explained very well i am trying to best my this reason i told you and i hope you have already made a subscribe because you are watching the video so you can understand what i can learn here in this channel otherwise in this series about the error solution okay i hope you are done subscribe and next video we can start like a category work so category we can add and edits and after we can do it our main part about the blogging part okay i hope you can done and uh, you are done subscribe because we need a more subscriber this reason i told you again 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 but i know we are doing best content so 100% we are found the subscription you always help me and thank you for watching